on the web and in your hands. This is MDI TV. It seems obvious. If you want to know if heart disease is threatening to block any of the arteries feeding blood to the muscle of your heart, a quick painless imaging scan should help provide answers. But a new study reminds us that things often aren't that simple. At issue, whether CT scans that can detect calcium deposits in plaques in heart arteries can tell doctors whether a patient would benefit from a more thorough but invasive investigation using coronary angiography. That test involves threading a catheter into the suspect arteries to check blood flow. Current guidelines suggest that if a patient complains of chest pain, a warning sign of an artery blockage, but a CT scan for calcium deposits is clean, they probably don't have a blockage and so don't need to undergo coronary angiography. But a look at nearly 300 patients in a trial that tested them with both CT scans and angiography surprised the researchers. As they reported in the Journal of the American College of Cardiology, the angiogram showed that CT scans of 72 participants showed no calcium deposits. But then angiography found that 14 of them had at least one artery that was more than 50% blocked. In regular practice, most cardiologists probably would have told all of these patients not to worry after getting a clean calcium scan. Dr. Island Gottlieb from the Federal University of Rio de Janeiro in Brazil, who led the study, says the results demonstrate that some patients can have serious coronary artery disease, or CAD, even if their calcium scan results look clean. You don't need calcium in order to have CAD or in order for, the, for these lesions to uh, destabilize and, and in, this case, in these cases completely occlude the coronary arteries. These results raised the eyebrows of the chair of a committee that recommended CT calcium scans as a useful option for getting a better fix on the extent of possible coronary artery disease in a patient. Dr. Matthew Budoff at UCLA stands by their conclusions about when to use calcium scans. Because we have 25 years of data that says that when you have blockages, you have coronary calcium. And then out of the blue, we get this relatively small study that says that's not the case. So. I don't think the pathophysiology, I don't think the relationship of calcium and obstruction has changed from 2009 to 2010 based on this study. I think this study may be faulty. But an editorial comment that appeared in the same journal said the latest results add one more reason to hesitate before ordering a heart CT scan. The problem is that they subject a patient to radiation and possibly a small increase in cancer risk, as well as additional costs. And then the results may not even help answer the key questions. It's important to note that this study involved patients with suspected coronary artery disease and the specific question about whether these patients would benefit from undergoing coronary angiography. Calcium scans are also sometimes offered to people who are thought to be at intermediate risk of developing heart disease sometime in the future. This latest trial didn't look specifically at that group, and current recommendations say that for certain of those patients, the scans may help decide whether or not to do more treatment or further testing. Still, the latest study showing that a clean result on a calcium scan doesn't always rule out artery disease is a reminder to be thoughtful about testing because the results may not be as clear cut as we hope.